Hey, I'm Rick Richard, the How-To Handyman, and recently I was on a construction tour, you'll say. Well, I wasn't. I was just on vacation, you know, looking at water and sun. But um, I observed a few guys in France uh, working away. And here we are in Nice, France, and we have, like, let's name this guy Jean-Jacques Dupuy. And his assistant over there in a busy vest, they'll call him Pierre Garçon. What they're doing is trying to load up this debris from looks like a reno that they did inside. And what they're doing is like taking this long arm of this machine he brought to the sandbox, this Tonka truck here. And I guess I'm going to ask myself two questions here. Um, is he getting paid hourly? Is that why he wants to take so long? B, is he trying to get bigger love handles by not actually doing any work? Uh, C, is that shelf that's dangling there real precariously made out of granite and does it have a secret 100 pound weight on the inside too? It doesn't look like it is flopping around. Those are the questions I have. Also, the third one, or fourth one, let's get let's count properly. If he goes to take a leak, love handles here, does Pierre Garçon go and unzip his pants for him too? So he doesn't have to get all dirty and pee handy? Well, that's what I guess here are getting the job done, but if they're getting paid hourly, good work on you. If you're getting paid by the truckload, I'd give you 50 cents. Let's go ahead and make that 50 cent euros, I guess. And there you have it. You know, um, we have uh, in Canada, we have guys like Cuz, Gear, Cool Reg, the assistant, and they all, you know, they would lift that truck off the ground, spin it upside down and carry it to the sea, turn it into a boat, sail away. Go fish and bring back a catch and then finish uh, building uh, all sorts of shelves, the shelves the size of houses. And, but it's cool to see that people don't like to do that, I guess. I'm Rick Richard, the How-To Handyman.